Millie, are you watching Aunt Rachel? She loves Aunt Rachel. And look, Benjamin's like, you need your toque. Because we're going to go for a walk. It's going to be a great Sunday. Right, Tico? Dog. Millie. Is that a dog? Just went for a nice walk with the family. That was good. Well, drinking my little coffee here. Benjo's got a skateboarding avocado on his t-shirt. Is that what I see? Oh yeah, with sunglasses. With sunglasses. Benjamin, come show everybody your shirt. Look at these avocados. He's skateboarding. He's got sunglasses. This one's working out. Benjamin. I love your shirt, buddy. For the most part, I plan on hanging out at home here, but I for sure will be heading over to the new studio to help construct the new shelves, like the pony wall shelves. We got one built, uh, that's up buddy, we got one built yesterday, and uh, there's three more that are gonna be built today. Your, your hair is a mess. Is my hair a mess? <laughs> Messy hair don't care. We switched up Miss Rachel for the hockey game. I turned it on like five minutes late and I missed the first goal. Oh my goodness, why does that always happen? Uh-oh, I got in trouble though. No TV half an hour before their nap, says Mrs. Brixie, and I completely forgot about that. So I've moved up to the couch here. I'm gonna watch this first period, and then it might be time to head out to the studio. He shoots. He scores! Mrs. Brixie's building Stitch right now. Where's his ears? He's got no ears. <laughs> One more bag to go, hey? Kids are sleeping nicely there. Beauty. What are you watching while you build? Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Nice. So I left the house and somehow on the way to the new studio, I ended up at the Lego store. Goodness. Am I excited for this coming in 2024? I don't know. Actually, yeah, yeah, I guess so because it's cheesecake. I came here to grab some stuff for a different video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But beyond that, I don't really want to grab anything because there's no G GWPs on. Uh, I, I do need to get the R2-D2, the Invisible Hand, the Sorting Hat, the Brickheads 5-pack from Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, and a bunch of other stuff, but I don't really have a whole lot of time to build LEGO right now, so I'm not gonna get anything. But I just did make a pretty substantial purchase. I dropped it off in my car, and then I came back into the mall to grab something else. Look at this guy right here. He's iconic. You see those hands? Oh goodness. They're looking pretty rough. There And there's this guy. What's going on, buddy? It must be the captain. Hey, he's got a parrot. This is where you can drive like these boats. You use like these uh, steering wheels right here. And they're just like little RC boats. You can just cruise around and trigger different things. It's pretty cool. It's right by the huge Santa Maria pirate ship. So I'm actually meeting my handyman over there to finish the shelving like I mentioned earlier. But I don't have to meet him for another 45 minutes. So <laughs> I went and got myself a coffee. And now I'm looking at pretty exciting stuff. Vacuum cleaners. Woo! I need to get a vacuum cleaner for over there. I don't know if I'm gonna get like a cordless one or if I'm gonna get one that's a plug-in. I know for sure I'll be getting a robotic one, but I'm just thinking for the initial vacuum, I need to get one that's like a beast, just so it makes it really nice and clean. Hey, that's not bad. $129.99, regular price, $4.49. Come on, that's a little bit out to lunch, isn't it? <laughs> you would think, but I need to get one just for the initial clean that's corded or wireless or whatever it may be. And also, I just want to have a, a regular vacuum over there, just because I'll probably want to do a regular vacuum once in a while. I saw some on sale this morning at uh, Canadian Tire. They were like, relatively affordable, but I may as well check them out at other places as well. Look at this little dirt devil. 80 bucks. Like, there you go. Oh, that's just a little handheld model. But look, it's got like a 
Stick? What? It's a three-in-one. Also, I was talking about doing a carpet cleaning over there, but some people in the comment section actually made a really good, the comment section actually made a really good point. The uh, water, it might go underneath the vinyl, like, carpet tile, because there's vinyl underlay on it, and maybe the water will get stuck under there, or they'll start to curl. So I think I've avoided out the carpet cleaning idea, and I'm just going to stick to some sort of vacuum. Look at that, $70? That's a steal, isn't it? For a dirt devil. I have one of these at home, like an older version, and I just love it. Like, I just love it. Maybe the warehouse or the whatever, the new studio needs like a bigger one with a bigger canister like that because it's more square footage. But there's not going to be like dog hair or anything over there. It's not going to get really dirty. I'm buying indoor shoes and wearing my indoor shoes in there. So maybe just for ease purposes, it just needs a little mini one. That's plug-in. That's not $700, you know? <laughs> hey, look at this. This might remove stains as well, and it just steams them out. There you go. I could use that for cleaning over there. A steamer. <laughs> so many different options. Who knew that this stuff was so difficult? And don't even get me started about the toasters. Ugh, the toasters. Of course I plan on having a toaster over there, but which one? I think I'm just going to go to Walmart and get the most simplistic toaster money can buy. I feel like the older I get, the more fun I have just window shopping for things like this. I just love looking at little household items. It's fantastic. It's just like one of the joys in life. Which vacuum am I going to get? Which fridge am I going to get? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's fun though. I will say, I do have fun doing it. I should probably make a decision, but we're not at the vacuum stage yet. So I'd just be like packing around in my car for no good reason. All right, let's go to the new studio. Enough time wasted here. Maybe a slow cooker. There you go, that's what I need. Just installed the main frames for the shelving units. So they're all nicely level there. Everything's looking pretty good. Some nice cabinets, that's for sure. And the next thing that we're gonna do is actually install the shelves. So each one is gonna get a shelf so we can put some bigger stuff on the bottom and then some smaller stuff on the top. I believe this is where we're gonna install them, right here. And this will just be like storage for, you know, I don't know, totes of Lego or whatever it may be. Yeah, they're pretty nice, eh? It's fantastic. I like this little works spot up here look at this we got three drills <laughs> big level too they're all nicely leveled off so that's beautiful that was a bit of a challenge just because this floor is a little bit unlevel but it is what it is so pretty cool there are a lot of uh screw holes on the back that are visible but once again uh we are going to be painting this and also filling all of those screw holes and once it's painted and matches the look of the staircase. That's gonna look pretty cool. Also, I will be putting my big Brixie sign back there as well. So that like classic Brixie wall sign, it's gonna be back in the Lego room. More prominent than ever, it'll be pretty sweet. And I love the look of this right here. The staircase going down. And wait till this staircase is like polished and looks good, like is more complete than than it is now and just sort of matches the feel of these cabinets it's going to be incredible so exciting check it out i've been put to work here doing some nail gunning just nail gunning these slats in and these will support the shelf this is my uh, first time using a nail gun everybody this is cool There we go. Easy peasy. And those are glued as well. So here we go. The shelving is almost done. Don't those look good? Oh, there's no convincing me otherwise that those don't look good. I know a lot of people don't want the shelves here. They can't stand the fact that there are shelves here, but you, there's no convincing me otherwise. I, I think this is uh, absolutely fantastic idea. This is amazing. So they're not quite done yet because uh, the toe kick isn't installed yet so eventually we'll have the mdf toe kick going on the bottom there as well 
Uh, I love the fact that we've got the mini unit there and then the large units and then another mini unit over here as well. It's just, it's just perfect. It's just gonna give me so much room for storage. Like it is just beauty. Also a nice like workspace so I can have some work going on up top here. Beautifully planned out with the uh, inch of like guard there so things aren't gonna roll off down there, which is beauty. I'm really happy about that. So uh, some comments have been um, suggesting that I do other things. They want me to build a glass wall here. Even after I addressed the fact that I don't wanna do that because I wanted shelving to go there, people are still insisting that I build a glass wall there. But I just wanted to let you know that I built shelving and I am not gonna be putting a glass wall there. <laughs> I don't know how many times I gotta say it. I'm, I'm terribly sorry that I didn't run with your idea. It is a great idea. And I appreciate the fact that you have ideas, but when I, you know, invest in putting shelving there and I state the reason why I want to put shelving there, I just hope that you can respect that this is my studio and sometimes I want to do things my way. And you just got to try and respect that sometimes. After I give the reasoning as to why I wanted to put shelving here, it's not fair to me as the creator for you to keep pushing the idea of putting glass shelves, especially after you see the, the wall has been installed with the shelves. You know what I mean? Because I read all these comments and, and I take them seriously. And, and sometimes even though they're great ideas, you know, it, it's just not fair to me. Uh, some people have also been commenting about the staircase. I know the staircase is ugly and I know it comes straight down. Uh, there's been probably, I don't know, 20 comments saying I should take this staircase and I should rotate it 90 degrees and I should have it going that way. So there's about four reasons why I don't want to do that. Uh, the first one is budget. My budget is stretched thin. If you knew how much I was spending on this place, it would boggle your mind. So taking this staircase, rotating it is going to complicate the project. Uh, there's going to be more construction involved and therefore more of a budget has to go toward that project. Also time frame. if I add that to the workload of the trades that I've already lined up, it's gonna take longer for them to take this staircase, rotate it, put a landing on the top of it because it would need a landing. There'd have to be another support structure. So there'd be a lot of work involved in that. Also, this uh, cold air return has to be a minimum of 14 inches. So the cold air return is sort of in the way of turning the staircase. And most of my building, whether it's large modules, Millennium Falcons, large Lego sets, it's gonna happen up here in my studio area. So one reason I want the staircase to be straight is because when I'm carrying this big thing, it's gonna be easier for me to walk straight down the stairs, not having to go through here, turn, and then go down. And then we've got an air duct right there, so there'd have to be some sort of landing here. So that's the main reason why I don't want to turn the staircase 90 degrees. And then uh, in regards to the air duct, there's been somebody who's been very insistent about the air duct being put into these cabinets. And they're very concerned about the fact that I didn't run with their idea of putting the air duct into the cabinet. Why didn't I do that? Okay, once again, budget, also availability of trades and timelines because unfortunately the person that's going to be doing the cold air return isn't working until like next week, so like a whole week away. And I would need my handyman who's building the cabinets and the plumber gas fitter who is building or fixing up the furnace and removing the cold air duct and fixing the cold air duct to work hand in hand. And I had already come up with the idea, well, Paul came up with it, of building shelving here. And we didn't factor in the cold air return. So in order to run with your idea, I would have to scrap a whole project, start from scratch, rebuy re different material, change everything. I'd have to line up the uh, furnace guy to get him to bring the cold air return up there before these shelves could even be built. All of the ideas would have to be changed. So then therefore the expense goes up because it's a more complicated project. And also the timeline is increased drastically because I have to get two trades working 
hand in hand and have to plan together. So it just sort of like overcomplicates it. Unfortunately, I'm not the type of person that can go do that on my own. I can't turn a staircase on my own. I don't know how to do that. Unfortunately, I can't move a cold air duct and put it underneath cabinets. They're great ideas, but I just, you know, it's just a matter of timing and budget. I'll tell you right now, I guess I haven't really stated it. I'm into this renovation for $50,000. So when there's great ideas as to adding to that, it's like I'm stretched thin, like stretched very, very thin now. Uh, painting the floor, I don't know, like some people want me to paint this floor. They keep insisting that this floor is ugly time and time and time and time again. I don't want to paint the floor. I don't think it's going to look good if I paint the floor. I really like the tile. I don't think I want to replace this tile because of budget. I don't want to put carpet over here because I like the tile. That's it. Sometimes, you know, there's a lot of great ideas and there's like 40 comments saying the exact same thing and it's just, it's tiring because I've, I've put days and days and days of labor into this and $50,000. So it's, you know, it's hard to read everything because some of these comments have been put onto like six different videos saying the exact same thing. And it's, it's hard, it's hard sometimes. I know I wanna please everybody and I wanna, you know, I wanna build this place for the best functionality for the Lego studio and for the channel and I wanna take everybody's ideas into account but sometimes it's just hard based on, on those things. And I'm sorry to get, I hope this isn't a rant and I, I, I truly apologize if I am ranting, but you just have to understand that I've put a lot of time and energy into this and, and a lot of resources and I'm trying to do things the best way possible for, for the studio. And, and I, I think personally that I am doing them, you know, in a great way. I know the other day I ripped out all this conduit and, now I have to repaint some walls and stuff. Some people were making fun of me for that and saying that I don't plan anything out and all that. And I know, I understand that sometimes I make mistakes and rip out conduit after the walls have been painted and all that. But you know what? It is what it is. Like, I'm learning too. This is an experience for me. I'm having a lot of fun with it. That's what matters most. And uh, I want to just make it look beautiful. And <laughs> Speaking of beautiful, uh, this staircase here, uh, just talking to handyman about it Paul he was uh, saying that we're gonna put drywall on the outside and also drywall on this side and he's gonna paint it all we're gonna have the carpet going it's gonna match the paint color of that it's gonna be beauty it's gonna be a wall up there it's gonna be sweet so yeah I, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry I got a little bit rambly there a little bit rambly a little bit ranty but I'm excited about this project I'm really happy in the direction that it's heading um, I'm fired up. I think this is gonna be sweet. I think all the ideas that are being implemented right now are flipping awesome. <laughs> That's really about it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.